What up guys, this is Mark, Mr. H. Crescent, and today, today we're gonna announce a brand new product we've been working extremely hard on. Allow me to introduce the HK Army Turbine Regulators. These things are absolutely amazing. It's gonna come in our standard size right here, if you can see on the black and white Alpha Air bottle. And then we have the Turbine Long Regulator, uh, which is gonna be on this black and green Alpha Air bottle right here. The standard size, and then we added a half inch for the length on the long size here. Um, if you do have long arms and you, and you do utilize a reg extender, you will no longer need the reg extender with the long version. But once you do open up the HK Army high quality turbine box, what you're gonna see inside that box is the directions, which I highly recommend you take a look at. That's gonna tell you how to change the um, output pressure. Uh, it's also gonna tell you uh, if you have any issues with the O-rings or need to replace anything will be in those directions. So please open those directions and take a look at that. It's gonna come with a socket wrench. It's gonna come with an Allen wrench and it's gonna come with miscellaneous set screws and O-rings, but I'm gonna get into all the details right now. Let's go. All right, guys, let's start with the exterior of the turbine reg. As you can see, we went with a precision CNC milling um, on the bonnet. We went with a really uh, aggressive look right here. Not only does it look cool, but it has function as well. If you, if you do need to adjust the bonnet, you're gonna have a lot of good grip here because of the grooves in the CNC. It looks really good, really crispy CNC. Um, we're gonna have the micro um, gauge in the front. That way we know how much air we have. And it's gonna be a smaller gauge, unlike other regs that have those big bulky um, gauge. We got rid of that. You're not gonna have that. Low profile burst disc. These are gonna be smaller than any other reg. And then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna have the bonnet, which is an aluminum bonnet. And it's gonna have the dual O-rings, which is nice to have the two O-rings on there. Um, and then we're gonna have a valve stem on here that's thicker than any other valve stem in paintball. It's gonna give you maximum airflow, huge upgrade on this reg. And then for the um, fill nipple, it's gonna be spring activated. When you're filling air, that way you're gonna stop any dirt and debris that's gonna get inside of your regulator. It's gonna keep it clean. And then of course you have the fill nipple cover there. And then also on the bonnet, it does come with aluminum, but we do sell a stainless steel version. This is a huge upgrade. It's gonna be a little bit beefier, a uh, little bit better quality. If you do want that, we do offer that as well. But let's break down the inside of how this reg works, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, included, you're gonna have an Allen wrench and a socket wrench. We have a socket wrench here, seven millimeter with the HK Army logo. In the event that you do wanna take off your low profile uh, burst disc, or for whatever reason they did blow up and you need to adjust them, you're, we made it super easy by including this socket wrench in here. So you're gonna be able to take these off or put them on really easily. And then also um, we have two sides to this. So if it's actually on your gun and you don't wanna take the reg off, you can go a long ways and get that on and off really easy. It's a really cool um, tool we've added there for you guys. All right, and then we have the Allen wrench. The reason for the Allen wrench is for the six set screws on the exterior bonnet. Um, we're gonna do the top three. So there's the top three and the bottom three. The top three by loosening these top three is gonna allow that bonnet to move full 360. So you can see here, we can now move and adjust. I have a gun here actually. Let me show you a better view of this right here. This can spin full 360. So if this uh, fill nipple was inside, like bugging you by hitting your wrist, you can change that to the top to the side, to the bottom, any which way you want. And then once you have that set up correctly where you like it, you're just gonna go in there and then you're gonna re-tighten these top three screws and then that will hold it in place really nicely. Now that we did the top set screws, you can see there's three set screws at the bottom portion of the rotational cap. You wanna make sure all six screws are really loose or you're not gonna be able to unscrew this thing lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. But I just wanna make sure these last set screws are loose enough. And then once these bottom set screws are all loose and the top set screws are loose, you're gonna be able to spin this thing to your left. And then we're gonna be able to get inside all the bells and whistles of how this HK Army turbine reg works. Let's go. All right, guys, now that I have the turbine reg fully disassembled in front of me, I wanna show you the most important key feature to the turbine reg. We made this super simple for you guys. It's always been a big pain in the butt to adjust. Um, your output pressure on previous regs, even our older regs, we made this really easy. All you're gonna do is adjust one shim. You can put in um, any shim into this thing and adjust it. We laser engraved the output pressure on the shim, um, but starting with no shim. No shim in the reg is gonna be a 350 output pressure, but this these do have a plus or minus 50 range on there. Um, so no shim, 350 plus or minus 50. 
and then you're gonna see the next gym it says 450 on it that's gonna be plus or minus 50 then the next gym after that is a 550 uh psi shim plus or minus 50 and then the next one 650 psi plus or minus 50. all you gotta do is just replace one single shim it's gonna tell you what it is right on there really easy to do um, we're really proud about how this turned out it's gonna be the easiest way to adjust your output pressure on any reg right now in the game um, and then let me just tell you everything else that we have in here this is gonna be your main spring right here this thick spring right here and then this is gonna be the piston inside the rag right there and then this is going to be the pin spring and then next to that is going to be the pin gasket and then last but not least we have the bonnet cover and the bonnet you want to make sure all three set screws are loose on this thing once the set screws are loose you can go ahead and push out the bonnet um, from the bonnet cover right here so these will be the two but i want to show you on the stainless steel design right here um what we upgraded onto the bonnet both the aluminum and the stainless steel are going to have this polygonal design right here and the reason for this design right here is when you put um your bonnet into the bonnet cover and you get this in the correct spot when you tighten these set screws down it's going to be physically impossible to have this thing strip out in the past other people's regs even our regs you you would tighten this down and then the set screw would be set and then you could strip this if you were going to tighten or loosen your tank when you have this polygonal design and you set those set screws it's set in there you're not going to have to worry about any of that happening anymore so it's a huge upgrade on our part here at hk army um but now that we have this fully disassembled let me show you the proper way to assemble your reg let's go all right guys so let's rebuild the turbine internals for the regulator we're going to start here with the regulator body at the bottom here though you're going to see a brass insert this insert is really important it's going to stabilize your airflow it's basically an airflow stabilizer um that way you're not going to get any surges which are going to blow the burst disc it's also going to give you a nice consistent shot so this this piece right here is very important just wanted to point that out but before we put this back together all you're going to need is your little allen wrench that's included here and we're going to start on my right to left i'm going to use one of the shims here first this is the 450 psi shim we're going to go ahead and put the shim in and then we're going to grab the spring put that spring in and then we have the piston so we'll go ahead and put the piston in then we have the pin spring and then we have the pin and valve right here there's a small side and a thick side to this it looks like the thin side should go down but it's not obviously that's the pin for the top of the tank that's how you're gonna get air out so it's gonna go this way so once you have this set up i'll go ahead and leave that there and you're gonna want to grab the bonnet and the bonnet cover we're gonna snap this into place first you're gonna hear a little snap because the polygonal design once it snaps in and it's all the way up you're gonna do the top three of these set screws you need to tighten them down first so let's tighten all these down get it nice and secure there's one here's two and then here's three once you have these three set screws down now the bonnet is secure and then we can go ahead and put it over the top you're going to want to line up that pin with the pinhole at the top here of the bonnet just go over the top we're gonna look for that now that we have that down you can go ahead and give it pressure to connect the grooves once the grooves are connected go ahead and screw that on and then what you're gonna do is there's uh, three uh, set screws at the bottom we're gonna grab those three set screws with our allen key tighten those and then once all three of the set screws are tightened your reg your turbine reg is officially ready for action guys the last step and final step is you're gonna grab your bottle I'm gonna grab my H Army Alpha air bottle we're just gonna put our reg on top there straight and then you're gonna screw this bad boy in once it's screwed all the way in you want to make sure this thing is nice and snug there's an o-ring right here that will seal the air from coming out once you're set up there you're ready to go and hit the field and then please guys remember that these do come in two sizes you have your standard size and then your long size if you guys have long arms like me this is great you will no longer need a reg extender and the final final thing guys the bonnet it, this this one does come with an aluminum bonnet we do offer the stainless steel bonnet if you want something a little bit more beefy something a little bit more durable this will be available too on the website guys both the long and the standard size turbine regs are available right now on hkarmy.com let's go